What's going on YouTube, GeoSnow right here, so in today's video I have some great news for those of you running on iOS 11.2.x up to iOS 11.2.2. .2. The exploit and the write-up for the vulnerability discovered by uh, Renny Iden has been published just a couple hours ago. As you can see, he says on Twitter, quote, dropped the POC or proof of concept for my CVE 2018-4087, have fun. And uh, he posted here on the Imperium blog the details about the vulnerability. Now, this vulnerability will be pretty, pretty important for the uh, jailbreaking on the iOS 11.2 since it opens a little bit more possibilities for the researchers to start poking around with the operating system. Now, for those of you who do not know, the Electra jailbreak doesn't work currently on the uh, iOS 11.2 or iOS 11.2.2 because an exploit is required. Now, this one is not enough, unfortunately, but it opens up a lot of possibilities for the researchers to search for a vulnerability that would give what is required in order to create a jailbreak for the iOS 11.2. So let me give you some details on the current vulnerability that we have because iOS 11.2.x up to iOS 11.2.2 is no longer that bad. So uh, it says in here CVE 2018-4087 proof of concept escaping the sandbox by misleading the Bluetooth D. Now the vulnerability as you can see resides in the Bluetooth daemon and Renny Iden did a very good job on exploring explaining the, uh, the problem in here and you can see exactly what is going on. He has also included the proof of concept source code or the exploit for download. So if you want to check it out you can do that. It looks like this. You can open it in Xcode if you want to take a look at it and understand a little bit more what's going on under the hood. But let me explain a little bit about it. So um, it's pretty much hijacking the Bluetooth D daemon in order to gain some more advantages and for example using this method he was able to hijack the following processes out of the sandbox. So the springboard, the MDNS responder, the Wi-Fi daemon, the preferences, the uh, comm center and many many others including um, the find my device daemon. So um, it says in here quote it is important to keep in mind that it means a malicious app running from a sandbox context managed to add callback on clients of the Bluetooth D which have different sandbox contexts. So in this case it's pretty much a sandbox escaping which is very very useful. It also says in here what's next? How can it be exploited? The vulnerability can be used to leak MAC ports of every client and it will reveal enormous attack surface on each of the clients. Leaking the MAC ports of the clients can be done by jumping to a suitable gadget and sending the port back to the sandboxed app. So um, according to him the Apple fix is is okay but it's not that good. He says quote, I reported the issue to Apple, indeed they fixed the issue, however I think the solution could be designed better. So there is still room for improvement from Apple, which means that on iOS 11.2.6 and 11.2.5 where this vulnerability has been patched and is no longer available, there might still be room for a little bit more poking. However, if you're interested in this, as I say, the project is available in here. He says here, quote, ATA soon, is it a jailbreak? It says, depends. Got any kernel vulnerability? You're welcome to chain them together. This one allow you to have a huge attack surface from within the sandbox. So although it's not a kernel exploit, which is pretty much needed for Electra to be updated for iOS 11.2 and iOS 11.2.2, for example, it's still something good because it gives you the attack surface so that you can start poking around with the iOS and try to find the, um, the vulnerability that you need, which was pretty much impossible until this was released. So if you want to check it out, it's available, as I said in the description down below, if you understand the uh, Objective-C code. However, as I said, this is important since now iOS 11.2 up to iOS 11.2.2 are no longer that bad of an option if you update it from iOS 11.1.2. However, as I said, this is not a kernel exploit, which means that it's not enough for Electra to be updated right out of the box in order to support the iOS. 11.2. For that you still need to wait for a kernel exploit but with this one in place 
finding the vulnerability to be exploited might be way easier for a researcher since now they have a leverage point. So uh, for those of you who are running the iOS 11.2.2, the iOS 11.2.1 and the iOS 11.2, the situation is a little bit more pink right now. But uh, for those of you running the iOS 11.2.5 and the 11.2.6, which are currently the signed versions, it's a little bit bad. Why? Well, the vulnerability in here, the CVE 2018-4087, has been patched in iOS 11.2.5, which means that for iOS 11.2.5 and for iOS 11.2.6 implicitly, there is absolutely no exploit, no vulnerability known that is publicly available for the moment that can be used in a jailbreak, which means it will take time until something is discovered, published, and then used in a jailbreak. But if you're running the iOS 11.2.5, X up to iOS 11.2.2, it shouldn't be that bad now that the CVE 2018-4087 has a proof of concept available. So thanks again to Rennie Aiden for publishing this right up in here and the source code. So um, for those of you who are wondering what's going on with the uh, Electrum, there is actually a uh, patch for the apt problem. For those of you who do not know, the first version breaks Cydia by updating the app. And I'm going to talk about that in a later video. But for the moment, suffice it to say that you can download an updated Electra if you're running iOS 11.1 point X and it will fix the apt issue. But anyways, if you're running the iOS 11.2.x, do not lose your hope yet. As you can see, a sandbox escape is now available, which is a very, very important part of a jailbreak. So uh, thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm GS Now. We'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. So yeah, press that button and enable notifications. Peace out.